the Joe Rogan experience. So there's there's pros and cons there, but my point was that there is something to the ego in that regard where I think you almost have to have it to be Michael Jordan, right, for instance, who's a, who had a tremendous ego. Huge. Yeah. yeah. But also one of the greatest, if not the greatest, basketball player of all time. time. But obsessed. Did you ever see the video? Jamie actually played it for me once. There was a, a video where this uh, guy was talking shit about Michael Jordan after he retired. And so Michael Jordan came back and played him one on one and just, just scorched him. him, scorched him while he's talking shit the whole time. Who was that, Jamie? Did you play me that? No, it's happened multiple times though. I mean, in the, in the documentary, <laughs> they go over five or six different situations where he's going back over someone that slided him in the in the tiniest way mm -hmm. and just wrecked havoc just, on him. Yeah. Forty points on him. Yeah, called him like act like they don't exist. All sorts of funny stuff. Yeah, he was his ego was substantial and is, I'm sure. But also, the results are substantial. Right. And that's the, and so the question I wonder, and this is really a question because I don't get to study high performance athletes with narcissism work. Mm. You don't get to do it. I mean, you can I get, imagine you get data from presidents and stuff that you can get from historians, but it's, you just don't really have the data. And I wonder it, you know, like obviously from Muhammad Ali and stuff and that sort of braggadocio before fights, that if in those combat sports, ego is super important to develop. I mean, theoretically, it makes sense. You know, one-on-one -on -one competition. Yeah. It's not about a team. It's you just have to win. Up to a point, I would say. Well, what I was saying before was that the people that get destroyed, who have these enormous egos, when they get exposed, it takes incredible character to build yourself back up. And some never do. Some get psychologically defeated and nice. they're never the same again because the, the pain of loss and the pain of being exposed... Yeah as being inferior to your opponent, it's just too much. But I wonder, like, I, that, is that such a rare example of when it would be beneficial to be narcissistic or beneficial to have an ego, a well, tremendous I ego? I mean, it's, but, you know, if you look across the literature, the place it seems to work is individual competitiveness. Because if you're in a team, so imagine, you know, you see this in teams all the time. So the old story is the quarterback gets, goes in front of the cameras and goes, yeah, I want it for the team. And the next time the front line just lets the, the defense through and the quarterback's dead. Mm -hmm. So he goes, next time he wins, he goes, yeah, I just want to thank my team and God. And yeah. then the team supports him. Because in a team sport, you can't be really successful without a team. Maybe, right. maybe basketball a little bit, but like football and stuff. So it keeps that ego in check, but with boxing or fight, it's just you. It is, but it also is a team as well because you need a coach. You, ne you need someone to train you correctly. And in Tyson's case, when his coach died, when Customato died, and then he his relationship with his coaches afterwards deteriorated to the point where he really was just having like bucket carriers in, in the ring with yeah. him. He, his career faded. It, so you need a yeah. back office. kind of. You, you need, need someone you team. respect, too. You need someone who's like, hey, man, you keep dropping your fucking left hand. Stop doing that. You're like, okay, 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 thank you. Like, you need someone who sees your failures and your mistakes and, and checks you on them, and you need to respect that person. So does Michael Jordan have that person? Who will... I think Michael Jordan was so hard on himself and so, like, so obsessed with winning. I mean, I think this is why I wanted to bring him up, because I think there's yeah. psychological issues that these extreme winners have that you don't get to where they are without them. It's like the where the illness becomes beneficial, right? Yeah. If you're not sadistic, you don't make a good serial killer. Right. Or a good internet troll. <laughs> yeah. But if you're not yeah. if you're not narcissistic or ego yeah. you're an egomaniac, I wonder if you ever become a guy like Michael Jordan who's just so dominant. Well, he's an example of somebody who's very egotistical. I mean, that's the I don't know him, I don't but that's the what people say. Mm -hmm. He's very competitive. You know, no. and it's obviously work for him. Um, and you see it with all. So the other option might be that, well, if you're kind of a dick and you're really, really good, people will let you get away with it. Mm. Episodes of the Joe Rogan Experience are now free on Spotify. That's right. They're free from September 1st to December 1st. They're going to be available everywhere. But after December 1st, they will only be available on Spotify, but they will be free. That includes the video. The video will also be there. It'll also be free. That's all we're asking. Just go download Spotify. Much love. Bye-bye. Mm.